So this morning, driving to my first job, I had something come over me. And it's been a long time since I've been in the church, and it's been a long time since I've even preached. I don't claim to be a preacher. I don't claim to be nothing. But sitting back looking at all the troubled times that we're facing and going through with this election and COVID and everything else going on, there's a lot of people out there that's going nuts and losing their ever-loving mind. And <clears throat> I got a message given to me, and since I don't belong to a church, I'm going to put this message on here. But it goes like this. You know, when they put Jesus in the tomb, they sealed that door. I believe he took a trip, went on down below. And I believe as he took the key of life from the devil, he looked on Satan right in the eye and said, the grave could not hold me. I'm headed back to glory. But just keep this in mind, you old rascal. I'm coming back. And I'm coming back with a vengeance. I think that vengeance is going to happen now. You know, and, and you might say, well, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. You just, you just openly admit it. You ain't. You ain't been in church and you ain't preached. You ain't opened the book of, book of God in many a years. But once, I've been told once divine, always divine. I don't know if that's true or not. But I do know that in the book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 8, says Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. So that means that the same Jesus Christ that Noah worshipped is the same today. The same Jesus Christ that Methuselah worshipped was the same today. The same Jesus Christ that was in the, in the tomb. The same Jesus Christ that walked around with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire is the same Jesus Christ that is alive and here today. Things have not changed as far as Christ goes. What has changed is man. We've become so polluted deluded and convoluted in our lives that we don't know right from wrong, up from down, night from light, night from dark, and right from wrong. But the one thing that has not changed, I'm telling you, the one thing that has not changed is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13, chapter, chapter 13 says, Jesus Christ is the same today tomorrow, yesterday, the day before that, and forever. No, nothing's changed with Christ. We've changed as people. You know, the essence of man is time. And, and we don't have time no more. You know, I always growed up in church here, hearing these old school preachers talk about we're on borrowed time, we're on borrowed time. Well, folks, I'm here to tell you, we got one foot on soft soil and one foot buried up to our knees. The time's now. If you ain't right with God, you better get right. Because he's coming back. You know, I got told today that that Biden just sold is pulling some of our troops back and pretty much bought protection from China. I don't know what to think about that. You know, the Bible talks about a one world government. And I believe that's where we're headed to, folks. 
is a one world government. You know, I believe it's Psalms chapter 9 that talks about troubled times and what we should do in troubled times. I think it's time that we we pick a side and we stick with that side. Let's remember Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He's still in the soul saving business. And to look at the world the way it is today, brother, business is booming. Messages. I hope I did it justice. Like I said, I'm in no position to even try to preach to somebody. But it just come over me and it something come over me and said, put it on, put it on YouTube. And that's what I'm doing. So I hope it falls upon some ears that listen. And I hope it falls upon some hardened hearts that get softened. And I hope it brings somebody closer to God, closer to Christ. You know, and the Bible says, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior, that He that He died for you and me. That He put Himself on the cross for you and me. And I hope somebody, I hope just one, if just one soul gets saved off His message, then it did what it was supposed to do.